This is some old man. Looky, looky what we got. They delivered them when I wasn't even looking. Here are my three 300 gallon cisterns. They were dropped off and they didn't even give me a call to let me, let me know that they dropped them. So I'm gonna move them into the backyard and eventually we'll start setting them up. Some old man. And here are my three water tanks, cisterns, in place on my base. And I've already started putting things together. I'll let you see the outlet valve connectors that I put in. And I'll be assembling the rest of it here in the next little bit. But right now I've got to measure the inlet connectors because I'm going to have to go to the store and get a tool to be able to take these off because I don't have a wrench that big. So when I get back from the store I'll be working on those. Some old man. A quick look at uh, my workspace inside. This is most of the hardware that will be connecting all the piping out there at the cisterns and you'll be seeing this going into place over the next day as I work on this thing. Right now let's go back outside and look at what I'm working currently. Some old man. Well I've been out working here a little bit and I've installed two of the cleanouts out of three on our tanks. These are actually overflow uh, outlets that I've installed here. This one, I've actually got the, uh, the shroud at the end. The second one, I don't. The third one, I haven't even cut in. Now these pre-installed outlets that are here are actually too small for the overflow outlets. So what I'm doing is I'm tracing I don't know if you can see it on here. I've already traced the uh, the size of the out of the overflow outlet on there, and I'll use the drill to drill holes around the perimeter of where the outlet goes. And this actually will come out and I had one here. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is in the dark. That's from the center center tank, but uh, I'll have three of these things that I'll be able to repurpose for something after I take them apart. But I'll actually go ahead and put these. They have the, the plastic ring with the actual in, uh, overflow. I'll show you the other one that I haven't installed yet. And there's a gasket, and I put actually put some uh, silicone sealant behind that and then the uh the drills in there hold it in against the thing and compress the gasket so it'll get a nice good seal and i'll show you the uh the other one before i install it but right now i've got to go ahead and drill the holes and remove that old uh make a hole large enough for the new overflow and i'll show you that when i get it before i install it some old man. And here I've gone ahead and drilled holes all the way around the perimeter of where this thing will go. And here is what the overflow looks like. This will actually go in and be sticking out. And this little thing with the uh, sawtooth at the top allows the water to get up near the top of the tank and if it wants to go any higher it will overflow and come out here and as you can see there's a screen in there to keep the bugs out well i'm going to go ahead and cut this thing in and get it hooked up and i'll show you a little bit when i'm doing that some old man on to the next step I'm going to be installing some connectors on my cleanouts. As you can see, I have some connectors here. This is just a little short length of pipe. 
and I'm going to be installing a gate valve at each one of the tanks that allow me to shut off each tank individually and then I'm going to be putting a cross connector over here that allow me to run a line over to the over to the other tanks as well as a clean out here at the end that allow me to drain everything or any one tank and I have connectors for these others I have to go ahead and cut a couple of more short lengths of PVC to go in these other two but that will just be a few minutes to do that I will go and cut those but I when I'm ready to all put these together, I have this uh, PVC glue, has primer and cement that I'll just coat the uh, different pieces on and connect it all together. As you can see, whoop, <laughs> on these things here, you can see the purple from the uh, PVC uh, primer. It doesn't. The cement is clear, but the primer definitely goes ahead and puts some good dye on it. So uh, it'll all look like that after I'm all finished. And I think when I'm done, I'm going to get out here with some uh, paint, some black PVC safe paint to coat everything so it'll all be black, just like the tanks. But uh, that's, that's after everything's all hooked up. Right now, it's just a matter of keeping and... Uh, starting to glue it all together, some old man. And we've got the, the outflow and tank leveling pipe uh, all hooked up. The idea here is the water will be coming into the first tank and it will be able to go out through this outlet pipe and in to either of the other two paint. Uh, tanks and of course as the water level rises the air that it displaces will come out the out the overflow uh, things there and once all three tanks are full any excess water will come out the overflows and just drop down onto the uh, pipes below it's no big deal uh, eventually after I get all this put together, I'm going to be putting a little planter right along the bottom and actually have uh, bushes kind of planted right up against it. It'll be kind of concealing this uh, outflow pipe, but that's for later in next month probably. And here at the very beginning, you'll see that I included two faucets. And the purpose of these faucets is so that I can actually use the water. I'll be hooking up my drip irrigation line to one of the faucets and a regular hose to the other faucet. So I won't have to switch back and forth or use a Y like I did before. So once we actually have water in these tanks, we'll actually be able to use it to irrigate the garden instead of having to carry it from inside the house, which is what I'm doing this year. Looks like I've got some that I need to water right now on my... Uh, Cucumbers, for instance. But that's for a little later this afternoon. One other thing that I'd like to point out is that my peaches are coming in. I already picked up a small bowl full, but I got to get my, uh, my, uh, a re my picking pole and bring that out there because some of this stuff is up 10 or 12 feet. I can't reach that without it. But I'll be doing that here next. Uh, I have finished the outlet and the cleanouts. Now all I have to do is install the uh, in, in input, which will take me probably wait and do that tomorrow morning, because right now it's getting kind of hot. It's in the 90s, and I'm sweating up a storm. So I can only spend so much time out here, and I've reached that limit. So this is some old man. I'll be joining you later on this film. It'll be tomorrow some old man back on Sunday and while I wasn't able to go ahead and film while building I did want to go ahead and show the finished product I have my outlets 
I have my overflows. I even have a gauge that will tell me how full the tanks are. And over here, you can see I have the inlet picking up the two roof drains and just carrying them around the corner and down to the first tank. And I have my first flow, first flush diverter. Water comes down from the roof. The first little bit goes into this uh, down pipe. There is a plastic ball inside that that floats. <clears throat> when that rises up, it will come up here to the top. And at the top, there's a narrow constriction that the ball will not rise above. And that will basically plug that hole. And after that, all the water will carry on down to the tanks. And the purpose of that, of course, is, is that the first little bit of garbage off the roof, any dirt or dust, will get washed down and pushed into the uh, diverter. And you can see that there's a little outlet at the bottom that dribbles out after the storm has passed. It will be a slow to, slow to empty it out, but it will empty it out so that when the next storm comes clowned, it will be ready for the next bit of water. Now I will be installing a screen basket on the inlet up there, but it has not come in the mail yet. I was hoping for it today. Maybe it'll show up, maybe it won't, but I am expecting it to rain tomorrow. It says there's a 70% chance, so with that, I expect maybe we'll get at least a little bit. So tomorrow we'll see. If it's any sort of a storm at all, I will fill all 915 gallons of these tanks up to the top. Well, that's all I've got for today. It's 91 degrees on the therm thermometer out here, so I didn't want to spend all that much extra time this afternoon out in the weather. But while I'm over here, I will point out one thing that I happen to notice today. All this bags is for my uh, planting here. These are my potatoes that I planted two or three weeks ago. They are starting to take off in these bags. So that's a good sign. Don't see any over here in my big baskets, but you know what? They were kind of a last minute addition to my garden. So if they grow, they grow. If they don't, they don't. So in the meantime, that's all I've got for today. This is some old man signing off.